Woods Police in Torrington are investigating a serious crash between a car and a DOT truck that happened this morning. Now, Fox Connecticut's Javon Vital is live at the scene now with more on what may have caused that crash. Javon. Hey, Brent Laurie. Yeah, this exit ramp opened up just within the last hour, and we learned that this serious crash has now turned into a deadly crash. The driver of the car involved in that accident, we understand, has died. Well, I want to take you back to the scene earlier this morning, though. Take a look at this video, and we'll bring you back to what was going on between 11 and 12 this morning when police say it happened at the uh, exit 44 exit ramp off of Route 8. Now, state police and the Department of Transportation tell us a car was traveling along the road when it collided with a DOT bucket truck that was pulled over on the side of the road waiting to do maintenance. The crew was there to fix a broken highway light, and that was uh, that light rather was dangling over the travel lanes of Route 8. Now, state police say the driver of the car was very badly injured in the crash and was rushed to a nearby hospital. And as we understand, again, state police confirming to us in the last few minutes that the driver of that car had died. Died. The DOT truck contained two workers who weren't injured in the crash. Now, everything is still under investigation, and state police are still investigating the possibility of whether or not this was a weather-related accident. There are still traces of snow and ice on the roads, although the roads are mostly clear at this hour on the major thoroughfares, but state police are still investigating that possibility. So it is, of course, important to slow down when you're in a work zone and you see those trucks there and Consequently, coming up on the Fox Connecticut News at 5, we talked to a few people who are going to share some safety tips when it comes to driving around in this winter weather. And that's all coming up in just a few minutes on the News at 5. But for now, reporting live in Torrington, Javon Vital, Fox Connecticut.